hey guys what's up everyone so in this video we'll discuss about this problem jump game given an array of non-negative integers you are initially positioned at the first index of the array each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position determine if you are able to reach the last index for this example the output is true and the explanation is jump one step from index 0 to 1 then three steps to the last index that is you can jump one step from here to here and once here you can jump three steps one two and three to reach the last index and since you have reached the last index the output to this example is true so let us see how we can solve this problem so we will be solving this problem using a greedy algorithm so what we are going to do is it's written over here we are going to iterate this array from right to left and we will maintain a variable last known position which indicates the last known position from which one can reach the end of the array so we are initially initializing it with array dot length minus one so for this example, this will be equals to 6. What this means is you can reach the end of the array from the index 6, which is correct because 6 is the end index. Correct. Now what we are going to do is we are going to iterate this array from right to left from here. That is L dot length minus 2 to 0. And we are going to check at each and every index. Are we able to reach the last known position from this index i? If it is so, then we will update the last known position. So what we are going to do is we are going to run a loop from error dot length minus two to zero and we are going to check whether we are able to reach the last known position from the current position. If it is true, then we are updating the last known position. Now the question is how can we check whether we are able to reach the last known position from a given index i. So what we will do is we will just simply add the index with the current value and we will check whether the sum is greater than equals to the last known position or not. In case it does, we know that we will be able to reach the last known position from the given index. So we'll update the last known position. Correct. So let us debug this code and let us see. So initially, you know, last known position is going to be six in this example. Correct. So now we're going to iterate from i equals to five to i equals to zero. So we will check whether the current index plus the current value that is five plus two is greater than equals to the last known position or not, which is six which is true. So this is true. So we will update the last known position to five. So what we are saying is we are able to reach the end of the array that is six from five. So we are updating the last known position to five. And now we will try to reach this index. If we are able to reach this index, we know that we will be able to reach the end from here. Correct. So in the next iteration, I is four and we will check where the current index that is 4 plus the value 1 whether 4 plus 1 is greater than equals to 5 or not and in this case it is true so we will change the last known position to 4 so what it means is from here you cannot reach the end but from here you can reach the last known position that is here and from here you are able to reach the end of the array so we can say that yes you will be able to reach the end of the array from this index so similarly we will run this loop from uh, n minus 2 to 0 and we will check after the loop is over whether the last known position is 0 or not. So in case the last known position is 0, we will say that yes, you are able to reach the end of the array from the index 0. So let me write the code for this algorithm and things will be more clear then. So what we will do is we will maintain our last known position which is equals to nums dot length minus 1. And we will run a loop from int i equals nums dot length minus 2 with i greater than equals 0 and i minus minus. And we will check whether we are able to reach the last known position from the current index i. That is, if i plus nums of i is greater than equals this last known position, then we will update this last known position to the current index i. And after the loop is over, we just have to check whether this last known position equal equal zero or not. So in case it does, we will return a true, otherwise we will return a false. So let me run this code. Let me submit this solution. So as you can see, we got a success and it says that it's faster than 98.65% of Java online submissions. So I guess that's it from the video so in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you